Welcome to this video demonstration of Endgrain Producer Pro. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to interact inside Producer. In this next topic, we will be discussing selecting a part or an assembly. Before you can perform several actions in Endgrain Producer Pro, you must select the parts that you want to interact with. This is called the active part selection. When you select a part or assembly, the part is highlighted in the workspace and the name of the part is highlighted in the parts panel. Next, to select multiple parts or assemblies in the parts panel, click the name of the part or assembly. Hold down the control key and then click the names of additional parts or assemblies to select all the parts of the model. On the edit toolbar, click the select all button. To invert a part selection, select the parts or assemblies that you do not want to interact with. On the edit toolbar, click the invert selection button. As you will notice, every other part than the tires is now selected. This concludes our lesson on selecting parts and multiple parts. In this topic, we will be discussing centering parts, assemblies, or the whole model. You can do the following. Center parts, assemblies, or the whole model in the workspace, or the whole model in the parts bin. Next, select the parts or assemblies that you want to center. On the View toolbar, click the Center Parts button. Now, if you rotate your model by using the right hand mouse button, you will see that the tire is now the center point. In this topic, we will be discussing labels. Labels are found by hovering over any individual model part. In my example, I have hovered over the rear brake drum. Inside this label, you will see manufacturer. To create new or additional labels, simply select the AB menu label button. Once selected, you will then see the label value editor panel. All the parts associated with this model are located on the left hand side. To create a new label, simply select edit labels. Additional panel will appear. By selecting the add, and in my example, I'll be creating a new label called NSN. Once I hit OK, you will then see the newly created NSN label. It is associated with every single model part. To populate the NSN, and in my example, I simply select the rear brake drum, and by double clicking inside the NSN column, I can then add information. Once I hit OK, I have now created a new label, NSN1234, under the rear brake drum. In this topic, we will be discussing selecting and customizing a viewing position. You can view the model from a preset viewing position or from a custom viewing position that you have created. To select a viewing position, on the View toolbar, click the Views button. The Views dialog box appears. In the Views list, select a preset. You can also define and save a custom view if you want to view the model from the same position at a later time. Rotate the model to the desired location, select Capture View, enter a new name, and hit OK. Now the new custom view is part of your presets. Any given time, I can go to the presets and the custom view. You can also delete a custom view position that you no longer require. Simply move into that customized view and hit delete view. This will take you back to the original six. In this topic, we will be discussing viewing the model in context view. In context view, you can view selected parts so that their position or context within the model can be seen. The selected parts display normally, while the rest of the model appears translucent. 
Currently, we're in normal view. To access the context view, simply select the context view button. Take note, the model becomes translucent. On the right hand side is your parts tree, and by selecting individual parts or multiple parts, you will then see in the workspace how this would be a valuable tool. To exit out of context view, simply deselect the context view button. In this topic, we will be discussing viewing the model in X-ray view. In X-ray view, the areas of the model with the highest color density are white and the workspace background is black. Currently, we're in normal view. To access X-ray view, simply select the X-ray view button. Take note, the model is completely interactive at this point. To exit out of X-ray view, simply deselect the X-ray view button. In this topic, we will be discussing viewing the model in line drawing view. In line drawing view, a drawing of the model appears. The model is made up of black lines and the workspace background color is white. Currently, we're in normal view. To access line drawing view, simply select the line drawing view button. Take note, the model is completely interactive at this point. To exit out of line drawing view, simply deselect the line drawing view button. In this topic, we will be discussing parts explosion. Parts explosion allows you to explore the relationship between parts and assemblies in a 3KO. It is similar to a 2D explode view, the parts move outwards from the model center on 3D axes. When you use the explode parts button on the edit toolbar, you can select a few parts, an assembly of parts, or an entire model to explode up to 400%. You can interact with the selection after you exploded it. You can rotate a selection in any direction and zoom in to inspect components in detail. While the model or assembly is selected, you can view it in context view, cross section, or line drawing view.